It is always a good day when you get a gigantic box full of new technology. Let's check it out. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming techie is the gaming tech. Gaming techie. Alright guys, so we're here to do an unboxing today. See this gigantic box here on the left of me. This is uh, most of my Razer stuff. And we're going to talk about why I have such a big box and what's missing and why I got this stuff. So let's start with that first. Before we get into the unboxing real quick, you guys saw, most of you guys have seen, and if you haven't seen, I would go check it out, the gaming setup tour of this whole entire room. I have that up on the channel. There's a lot of you guys who have watched it, and I appreciate that. And um, there's already something out of date. Uh, in that video and it's gonna get its own separate video which makes sense anyway because I didn't go into that was a broad overview of the whole gaming setup so this is gonna be concentrating and going through piece by piece on what's in my setup and what the specs are and stuff and that is my PC area now not everything is gonna change uh, the monitors are gonna stay as is for a while um, as you saw in the gaming setup video but the actual you know there's a lot of stuff in that area besides that that's changing I don't want to give too much away that is going to get its own separate gaming, uh, you know, PC gaming setup area. Should be in a couple of weeks, uh, two to three weeks. You guys will see that video go up. This box here is the start of what is coming uh, into it, and I wanted to do some boxing with you guys to to give you an update on what's coming with that area and what's changing, and also what's in this area to get you guys a little bit pre excited um, and, and you know have some thoughts already going on what that setup is going to start looking like and what we're going to do with it. So, this box is too big for me to just put in my face. So now that you guys see how big this box is, I'm going to just throw it here on the left. And one thing I'm going to say that I know everyone's going to start mentioning as soon as they watch this video is, no, Razer does not sponsor me. No, I'm not a Razer fanboy. That's all nonsense. I buy products from people that I like. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Wish I was, but I'm not. So, this is me getting Razer stuff because I've liked all their products that I've had before this. I've had... Razer keyboards, I've had Razer mouses, um, I've, you know, used a lot of their stuff before, I've had their microphones before, I've had some of their webcams before, and I haven't had any issues with their software on any of my machines, being that, you know, I usually use high-end machines anyway that I usually make, so, I haven't had any problems with them, and I love their stuff, so, just throwing that out there now, so no one thinks of this, excuse me, that this is any sort of paid video or anything like that by Razer, uh, no, it's not, because I'm not sponsored by them. So, let's get into it. So, there's a lot of bubble wrap here on the top. Well, let's remove this all out of the way here. So, let's start with some of the small stuff here. So, here we have... We're going to throw everything on the table first that it came in, and then we'll unbox it real quickly uh, as an overview for each one. I think this is pronounced Kayo. Possibly. I may be butchering that name, but it's basically their new webcam. Um, this is... Going to it's it's a 1080p webcam. Uh, let's see, 1080p 30fps and 720p 60fps. This is going to be for one of the new things that we're going to be doing on this channel. Uh, not on this channel, but in you know, with the brand basically, with you know your gaming techie is we're going to be doing some live streams, and this is a part of it. And the lighting in here isn't amazing. It's all right. It's not bad. It works. But this will help with the lighting because this camera has light in the front, and. Uh, you know, we'll concentrate on my face for a webcam in. It's not a 4K camera like the Logitech one that came out, but, uh, you know, for streaming, that makes no difference at all uh, to get a 4K webcam just for streaming because you're not going to be streaming in 4K. Most of most of the people aren't because people will buffer all the time because people are watching on their phones and stuff, or you're going to be buffering all the time because your internet connection isn't strong enough. My internet connection in, in here probably more than likely is strong enough, but uh, I'm not going to be streaming out that way you know, 99% of the time anyway, there's just no point. A lot of people are watching it, don't have the capabilities, and don't have the speed. So so that's the first thing we have here. The next thing we got here, and this black box here is a base station. And this is the Chroma base station. I'm a big fan of RGB lights. I know some of you guys are, some of you guys aren't. Um, I'm a big fan of them, so this is uh, an RGB stand for the headset that I have. So we're going to open this up later, but you know what, you guys probably know what that looks like, but if you don't, stick around, we'll put that to the side. So speaking of, let's see, this little guy down here. 
they really stuffed this box, so it's hard to get some stuff out here. Okay, so here, part of uh, the going theme here with streaming on Twitch, and not only streaming on Twitch, and not only is this for streaming on Twitch, this is also going to help me make videos, and here is the Siren X uh, from Razer. So this is going to do well for me to for a bunch of reasons. This, we talked about um, doing voiceovers, so obviously in my videos, if I have to do any voiceovers, this will be what I use from now on as opposed to my headset, which will be much better. This will also be used for live streams, obviously, when I speak. Instead of using the microphone on the headset, I could just use this instead, uh, which will obviously increase the sound quality and be uh, really good. So those are the, the two main reasons for this. I may also try, I don't know how well it's going to work, but I will try. This, another big reason that I'm going to be using this is to do um, the VR videos that I've been wanting to do. I haven't done a lot of VR stuff yet because I'm waiting for all this stuff to come in. So it's going to start pumping out here where we're going to do you know live gameplays and stuff for me playing games. And I want to see how well it works instead of using the actual headset and the Oculus, which isn't going to sound as great, is to put this on the desk. And you know while I'm walking around, this picks up my audio from talking instead. So that should do really well. And that won't be live stream. That will be like actual videos I upload to YouTube. So... Uh, another use for that and one of the major uses for this, this is the webcam to capture me while I play obviously so you guys can see me playing in VR and see the game screen okay next thing here on the list we were just talking about this over here so obviously gotta go with the headphones these are the Thresher Ultimate headphones these are um, and I know for anybody who's going to ask me and tell me, I know that this comes with a headset stand. I'll be using this upstairs uh, for my other headphones for the PS4 just to kind of leave up there uh, because it wasn't chroma and it didn't light up. So, uh, you know, that's what it's going to be used for for now. But basically, these are 7.1 surround sound uh, Adobe headphones. I work with the Xbox and Windows 10, as it shows here. I'll be using these for Xbox and for the PC. So these are the ones I'll be gaming with when I'm on Twitch. Um... And I'm excited to try these out. I obviously can't try these out yet because I don't have the PC in yet. But I will be trying them on the Xbox One X later today. And seeing how well these work. Because I've heard uh, really good things about this, these headphones. And the last thing in this package is the Razer Chroma speakers. So these speakers here. Uh, before I had speakers, they were uh, Bose headphone speakers. The, they're, that are over there currently uh, that are, I'm obviously getting rid of because I don't need them anymore. They, were, uh, they weren't that expensive, but they're obviously Bose. They sounded really good. These uh, here sound really good for their price as well, which is what the price of the Bose ones were back then. Uh, so I'm excited to try these out. And these obviously are chroma lit on the bottom. So I'm excited to put these in there and uh, get the light show going over there on the PC that's going to be happening. So that's going to be interesting. And uh, I'm excited to see how these sounds. Uh, I'll have to wait for a couple of things to keep coming in uh, over the next couple of weeks. So this stuff's going to be set up, but kind of just waiting for me, uh, you know, to be able to actually try these out. So real quick, uh, there are there is some stuff still missing. Uh, I'm not going to spoil everything in the in that PC setup because I want to leave some stuff to go over and give you guys more detail in the actual PC area tour that will come in a couple weeks. If you guys want to see, you know, these lit up and how everything looks and, you know, how it functions, how they sound, stay tuned for that video because that's exactly what we're going to be going over. Um, but there are some stuff still missing here. Uh, things from Razer, since this is the Razer unboxing that I haven't gotten that I will be getting is the Razer mouse and head, I'm sorry, mouse and keyboard that are also going to be a part of this uh, setup. So you'll see which mouse and keyboard I got in that setup video. Um, because that's in a separate package and it's not going to come in for a while, so we couldn't hold off for it. So I want to give you guys a little glimpse of what the PC area is going to start to look like and what we're going to do with it. Let's, uh, get into the actual unboxing of these and, uh, see where we're at. Okay, let's start with, uh, the big box just to get it out of the way here. Let's look at these, uh, Chroma speakers. Uh, let's see what the box looks like. And let's open this up see what we got with these speakers some of the specs on these for uh, for those of you guys that care uh, besides them being you know uh, chroma speakers three inch uh, drivers that they have uh, and the rear facing
All right, so let's do the uh, big box here first, just to get it out of the way. Uh, so it says here, just on the top here, uh, custom fiber three inch drivers. All right, so let's do the unboxing of these uh, Razer Noma Chroma speakers, uh, so we can get this big box here out of the way. Some of the specs here that it says in the front is there three inch drivers, rear facing base ports, and a base knob there at the bottom, and obviously they're chroma and light up. So let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we're working with here. So these are actually sitting up here. Hold on. Alright, so in this small package here, we of course got the instructions, audio cable, here's the uh, power cable that it comes with, there's the power cable, it's not too big, and uh, an adapter if you need it for... Uh, Actually, does it not have an adapter? Yeah, it doesn't have an adapter on. So that's the adapter. I thought it came with one for a different country, but no. So it just comes with the U.S. one. And then here we have the actual speakers. Uh, I have not unboxed these before, you guys. So I'm looking at this at the same time as you guys, obviously, to see how, you know, my first reactions on them and how interesting they look and how big they look. Uh, they're definitely bigger than my old speakers were. I can tell you that. They have an, uh, a pretty cool design, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm kind of liking this uh, sleek black look. I know a lot of people make fun of this and think it looks like a hair dryer and stuff, but uh, Razer logo there on the side looks nice. The port's on the back, so these look pretty good. Um, let's put this down here for a second and take this one out of here. here to the side so obviously this is to connect the other speaker together and these are uh, USB uh, probably for the lighting that it needs and as you can see here this is the one that has the actual volume and the base knob here at the back and you can see the back this is where the uh, base is out of uh, that they were talking about so has an aux in and a headphone jack on the back of this one it is on the back though, so you're going to have the wires sticking out if that bothers you guys. But, I like the speakers. They uh, look really nice. I'm excited to obviously hear what they what they sound like and to see how, uh, you know, the actual lights look and all that. But most importantly, the sound. See if uh, they're supposed to be better than what I had before, even though they cost about the same. I've heard good things about these, so. I'm excited to try these out. Let's go ahead and put this to the side. I'll move these over side here. Okay, so uh, let's move over to the Razer Siren X here. So these are, th they have a bigger version of this. I think it's called the Siren Pro. That basically just gives you, uh, it's, it's kind of the same thing, but it's obviously the Pro version and, and has some additional features. I don't remember what they were on the top of the head, top of my head. But these will do, uh, these are really, really good. There's no reason. This is more... They call these, like, uh, both of these, like, their portable line, kind of, uh, because it's easy. It's, like, plug and play. I don't even think either one of these two things technically need the Synopsis, uh, or the Synapse, however you pronounce it, Synapse um, software. So, I think you could just use it without it. So, they advertise it, like, oh, you can just take this with you and, you know, plug it into your laptop and be up and ready in two minutes to stream kind of thing. But they also work really well for, you know, desktop use. It's just, you know, they advertise it a little bit that way. Oh wow, this is a lot smaller than I thought. Uh, so I could definitely see what I was just talking about. We'll put that here on the side so you guys uh, see that at the end. But obviously the manual here, uh, braided USB cable, the actual base of the unit, and uh, I believe this goes like this. We'll see here in a minute. And that's basically all that's in this box here. So we 
put this here to the side. So, um, here is the actual unit. This is a lot smaller than I thought, so it's going to take up a lot less. If you guys have, I, I used to have the Siren Pro back like a year ago, but I wasn't doing any streaming or anything. I used it for a podcast that me and my friends were going to start, but never actually started. So I got rid of it because I had no use for it. But this is, uh, it's really sleek and nice looking, that's for sure. And what's nice about this from what I've read when I, when, you know, before I bought this in the reviews is that when you set this in front of you like this, it's only taking audio from the front. So you're not going to get a lot of the background noise if you put this in front of you. It's still going to get some, but it's going to eliminate some of the background noise from like if you put this in front of your keyboard and you're talking, you're not going to get as much of the clicks and stuff uh, as you would on the Siren Pro that's taking sound like from the 360 view of this whole thing. Uh, but I like the look of it. Didn't expect it to be this small, especially compared to the other one, which is like literally like probably triple or quadruple the size of this thing, uh, as far as their Siren Pro goes, that I had. Uh, but this is nice. It's going to sit well on top of my desk. I'm excited to see how this one sounds. Uh, let me see if we can just put it on the stand real quick and see how it looks like. Just so you guys can at least get a look of, you know, what this looks like on the stand here. snaps in there really easily oh and it kind of has like a little uh, ball in there so you could actually move it around a bit um, as you can see so you can angle it so it's gonna go uh, really nice next to my desk uh, as you can see that's the final thing there we'll see how this works out I mean for streams it's gonna be perfect that's the primary reason I bought it and obviously I can also if I'm wearing headphones and want to just hear game audio but talk through this just to get you know better quality out there for for it. if I wanted to we'll see depending on if I'm using a controller or a keyboard. We have to see how all that stuff plays out. So, I'm excited to try this one out. Moving right along, we have the webcam. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Of course, right in the beginning here, give you a congratulations from joining Razer, just like all the other ones did. And I'm assuming this is the manual. And the instructions, so we'll leave that in there for now. And this is braided, but it's attached to the webcam here. So here's the webcam, guys. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope, that is it for this. So here's the actual webcam. It's got a little braided USB cable here. Uh, and this is how you adjust the lighting because you can get it brighter or you know lower than what it's set to. It's not just one brightness. And, uh, yeah, this looks, uh, this looks good. Uh, interesting design, that's for sure. Uh, it does say Razer. Sorry, I was holding it backwards. It goes like this. It does say Razer there at the bottom. Uh, for those of you that care about the branding and all that, it does say Razer. So this will sit on top of my actual monitor. And, uh, let's see, how does this actually, uh, so this clips up like that. And from the looks of it, yeah, this also clips up. So this will sit something like this and clap onto the monitor. So, looks, uh, like I said, an interesting design. I got it for the lighting because the lighting in, in here isn't that great. I've heard good things, and it, it does exactly what you want. 1080p30 or 720p60, and a lot of streamers out there are using 720p60 anyway. Um, but even 30, I mean, you're just webcamming your face while you're sitting there. It's not that big of a deal. So, yep, interested to put that into the setup there. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, Chroma Base for the headphones. Open that up next. Let's see what this looks like. Now the reason that this is nice as well is because it's going to have two additional USB ports on the front of it once you plug this in, which is always good. So I can plug in my mouse or something nearby it. So we got two pieces here. There's actually no, is there really? No, there's no way Razer would send this without any manuals or anything showcasing like, hey, thanks for joining Razer. There was no way they were going to do that. So that's what this is here. Comes with some Razer stickers and a quick start guide. So we can leave that here to the side. And here is the actual base. Uh, the base obviously has the Razer logo right there. It's got another braided USB cable. It is not that long, but luckily this is going to be the closest thing to my actual computer. Uh, snaps in right here. It's 
snaps in just like that. And this is a matte finish uh, that it has going on, which is good. So it won't have a lot of crazy scratches on it or whatever. So I definitely like the look of this. And, uh, you know, we'll see how the actual lights look uh, during that PC set of video when I do it. So you guys can check out how it all looks like. But uh, first impressions are good. Now, we're up to the last thing here, which are the actual headphones, of course. So let's see how these look like here and open these bad boys up. I'm excited for these the most right now because this is the only thing I can actually use uh, for the time being. Um, until I get my other parts in for my PC and stuff. So this will be something I'm going to go try on the Xbox right after this. So right here on the top, we got a flap uh, for the manuals, stickers, and quick start guide. So we'll leave that in there for now. It says, welcome to the Cult of Razor on this uh, box here. And these are the headphones right in front. Uh, let's leave that in there first. Let's go through the other stuff here. So this is the actual audio hub. These are the Ultimate Editions. I don't know if I mentioned that before. You could get this for cheaper if you didn't want the hub and just wanted the headphones. But I wanted the hub. So let's go ahead and get this out. They really wrap this up pretty good. Uh, not in a negative way, just uh, everything is really well wrapped here. So here is the actual unit. So you definitely need this to actually use the headphones and get actual optical Dolby uh, surround sound on here. So power button there on the front. The Dolby button is there on the top to toggle on and off. And uh, it's got optical in and out on the back and it has a little toggle for Xbox and PC and USB there on the side. So and this is another matte black finish. So this will stay uh, pretty decently scratch free as opposed to glossy black. So nice design on that. Here we have, uh, I'm assuming the cable, uh, USB cable, yep, it's got a picture of the cable there, so here's uh, the first braided USB cable, and another braided USB cable. The reason it comes with two to two, unfortunately the only downside to this headset that I didn't like, but I went around it, uh, you know, I, I said it was okay, is that um, you can't charge it wirelessly, like I know the Astro A50s, if you drop them on there, they start charging on the base, if you drop it on there, these you have to, like, so one of the cables via USB will power this and it will go to your PC and the other one's going to be to actually charge these headphones. So you actually have to plug them in and charge them um, with an actual headphone. Uh, USB connected. And the last thing we have here uh, is probably, yep, the optical cable here. Basic optical cable, nothing special there. And what we all came here for, let's pull these out. Now, there's a couple of things that I really liked about these headphones, which is why I got them. So let's show these off to you guys first, uh, as you can see there. So these are the actual headphones. Now, two things that I liked about these headphones when I was reading reviews about them, uh, besides the fact that they're wireless, obviously, and stuff, and that they work with Xbox and PC. And that is, the first one being the most important is comfortable, com being comfortable. Because I used to have the Astro A50s, and after an hour or so, my ears would start to hurt. Uh, I know that a lot of people say the Astros were comfortable. That only happened to me, so I don't know. That's just a me thing, but that's what happened with them. So don't have those any longer. So I have these now, and these apparently are really, really comfortable. So um, they feel comfortable when I put them on. So this feels really nice already. Um, but obviously, sort of the Astros when I first put them on. So we'll obviously, I have to give these a full test and, and game with them for a couple of hours. I'm excited to try these on the Xbox upstairs today. See how they sound. And uh, the other nice thing about them, which is a lot, not really a selling point, but just a, a cool additional bonus, is they do this. Now, a lot of you, a lot of you are probably looking at me with like twelve heads. Well, this is not as comfortable. If I have to get up and and you know go get something from the fridge or get up and use the restroom, whatever it may be, and I want to keep these on for a second, this is not as comfortable when I put them on my head. Uh, this is a much better design so I can just lay them flat and not feel like my neck is being crushed or these are going to break because I'm squishing them kind of thing. So I like that these do this. So that's another additional bonus. Uh, obviously I like the design. Um, they still have the matte black finish going on here with the razor there, razor there. Of course the logo. These are not chroma. These are, they do have, they, it does light up the logo in green, but there's no other color. They just light up in green. And then got the microphone here on the side.
and the two cables. So we got the USB cable. The reason that comes with two is unfortunately the only thing downfall of this, which made me think about it a little bit longer, is that the Astros, when you dropped it into the base, it would automatically wirelessly charge. On these, you actually need to connect the USB cable to this base here and then plug it into the actual headphones, and that's how it actually charges. Same thing. Uh, this one actually goes, obviously, the Xbox or the PC for the audio itself and the optical as well. This is the actual base unit here. So this just lays flat there, and it's got uh, optical in and out on the back, a switch for Xbox and PC, a USB, and the charging port. And it's got the power on here on the front and Dolby Digital here on the front as well. So I'm excited to hear how good these sound uh, with either the digital off or the digital on because I've heard mixed reviews. Some people on YouTube and, and the sites that I read say that the Adobe Digital Off is much better because you get to hear the full sound and not to turn that on at all. And if anything, uh, you could use Adobe uh, Surround the Xbox app that's on the Xbox and the PC instead. Other people swear by it and say that the Adobe Digital on here is really, really good and it makes them feel like they're surrounded by sound. So, who knows? We'll have to try it out for ourselves and hear what I and see. I'll give you guys an opinion on what I think about it once I have the chance to use these in a couple of weeks on that video. I think that's it. I hope you guys, uh, like I said, look forward to the PC setup tour that's going to be coming. That's going to be a, a, a lot of fun to record. There is more stuff to come in here besides the piece, the mouse and keyboard from Razer. There's other products not from Razer that are still going to come in. One of them is actually coming in next week, which is going to be next week's video. It's going to make things a lot cooler for me to look at on the desk and, and give me some motivation. So you'll see what that is uh, next week. So stay tuned for that, and the following week or, or shortly thereafter, you'll see a whole tour of the, all this stuff and everything that you haven't seen, and everything, how it's going to look, how it runs, uh, exact specs on you know the PC, and exact specs of things in it, and an overall thought of how these have been going, how those look, and how all the sound, I'm uh, sorry, all the uh, colors look and all that stuff. So definitely look forward to that, and subscribe, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching, and until next time. Techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming